Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up the Orbi Wi-Fi. So, um, as I mentioned in my previous video, um, I wanted to make, well, I wanted to put this on a on the first house and the second house. So I wanted to see if that would work. So if you've got like two houses, then you can use one of this and then the two on the other house and see if that works instead of buying two broadbands. So I'm going to show you guys how to set this up. So you might need a long Ethernet cable. They do provide you one. If that's not long enough, then you can always buy on like the longer version if you wanted. So um, I'm just going to show you guys how that, well, how you guys fit it really. So to do the first setup, what you do need is the router. So you'll have it all labeled. So you've got the router there and uh, you'll have the satellites, the two satellites underneath here. So what you need to do is connect it to your origin, well, the modem or router you've got at the moment. So in my case, I actually have the modem, so I'll just really show you guys actually. So here is the Virgin 1, which is already connected to the Apple AirPod, uh, AirPod Express. And that's here. So I've got that upstairs at the moment and that's connected to the Philips Hue bridge. So I am just thinking at the moment, I'm going to try to connect to the virgin one which is downstairs and see if it works through that instead of connected to the router here so what i've done is i've got the extra long ethernet cable which i've got here because i'm going to try to do it nicely so cable it but for now i'm going to what i'm going to do is test it out see if it works through this wall so the idea is put uh, this router behind there so that way it gets more signal going to that room to that house so what I'm going to do is connect this Ethernet port in the Virgin Media. So I've got another three more space because you get four. One's already been taken by the Apple. And now I'm going to do this one for this. So I'm going to do that now. So now what we're going to do is just connect to the second one here. Because I've got the first one already connected to the AirPod. Uh, the AirPort. keep saying AirPod. Uh, so I'm going to just connect that there. There you go. So that's where that one's connected. So now just to connect the other side. So what you need to do is download the app, so it's the Netgear Orbi, so this is the app here, uh, so you just got to download that, so you can open it, and then all you have to do is just follow the instructions, so yeah, there you go, so obviously it's going to be a new system setup, so go on the back one, so I like to, so you just need to scan the QR code, which are on, uh, actually on the part here, so you can see there's the QR code, so we just need to scan that, so I'm going to, First of all, start uh, plugging this in and uh, see how it goes. I've got the Ethernet port there and I've got it right here. So what you do is from the one of the boxes, you will have the power adapter. So you will need that. I believe it's in here, so there we go. So you just get one of those out for the first one. So we've got the first one there. And hopefully you should be able to connect to that one. And then we'll just connect to the second one. And the third one so you've got so you can see there are all the qr codes on every single one of them so it should be a lot easier to connect so i'm just going to quickly connect this so now what we will do is connect the ethernet so as you can see there's the yellow one where it says internet so make sure that's facing the top bit there so you connect that there you go and the power cable as well so plug that in and switch it on and then obviously you got the power button here, so you'll just switch on or the light or well the flash should be flashing white. So if I turn it on, there you go. So it's on the top here, as you can see. I'm going to set up. So there's the white. That's what it's supposed to have. And what you do is get your phone out and start following the instructions. So if you're going to be connecting all three of them, um, instead of connecting with the phone, what you do is uh, put the satellites on. But if you're only doing one, then you just follow the phone's uh, guidance. So I'm going to be doing the other two. So what I'm going to do is go next door and place the other one. So uh, then after placing all those two, you'll be putting the lights or the phone one. So as you can see here, so it says place your Orbi satellite, that's number two. So you connect all that and then you'll see all these colors should come up. And then you'll go through that. So I'll just go like a step by step for the, on the video for you guys as well. So I've just come to the second house now, and uh, hopefully I should be able to put it here. So I'm going to put one around here and see what happens. So 
So obviously for this one you don't need another Ethernet port which is good. So all you need is the power adapter, so that should be off. So I've got the second one now plugged in and now all you gotta do is turn it on. There we go. And then hopefully this should light up. So there you go, so it's just flashing white at the moment. So what I'm going to do is now connect the third one and I'm going to do that one upstairs and so hopefully find a spot there. So I've just connected the third one. Yeah, it's a bit messy at the moment because we're still um, refurbishing the place. But um, this is the third one and what we'll do is power it on just like the other ones. And then that should light up. There we go. So now that's all lighted up white. Which is good. So now what we're going to do is use the phone. So this one's just turned blue, which means it's a good connection. So I'll try to get this on the light. There you go. So if you see this side, it says blue connection between the Orbi router and Orbi satellite is good. If you get an amber, it means the connection between the Orbi router and Orbi satellite is fair. Red obviously is not connected. So what I'm going to do is now set it up via the app which I've just downloaded. So I'm going to quickly go back to the first house and scan the QR code on the router. So when you are connecting, you'll see you'll have your um, temporary Wi-Fi network name and then the network key as well. So what I'm going to do is set that up. So new system. So all you got to do is just scan the QR code. There you go. So reboot your modem. Unplug your modem, remove and reinsert any backup batteries, and then plug your butt in and wait for it to power on. So the first thing I'll do is reboot that then. So I'll just quickly reboot it. So I've just rebooted that, I just took the power cable off and turned it off. So I've just turned it back on now, so it's just said, it did say to plug it back on again. So I'm just going to check what happened. So what I'm going to do is press next since I have powered it on. So it says connect your Orbi. Use the provided Ethernet cable to connect then connect your router to a power source. Okay, so place your satellite in a location that are within your router's Wi-Fi range, then connect the, your satellite to a power source. Okay, so connect to Orbi, so you go to Wi-Fi and then connect it to this one. So you'll be on your satellite, so to connect to that one. So if you go back to there, and then it should say here, Orbi 48. So there is OB48 and then enter the password which says it there. So once you've entered the password, hopefully that should connect. So there we go. Connecting to OB. So now I oh, just went back to the app again. If this takes, okay, so cables connected, checking internet connection. Try the shop, unplug the motor power, then plug the motor back in, in and wait for about a minute. If all right, so I think my internet is still trying to connect. Okay, so I need to wait for my internet to connect and then I need to try it again because obviously with the virtual it takes a few minutes for it to actually load up. So it's just connected to the internet showed, so it just went to the next step. So it says wait for Orbi satellite's light to turn solid white. Wait for the light on your satellite to turn solid white then hit next. So as you can see that's solid white. So I'll press next. Detecting satellites. Two of two satellites found. Okay, so make sure that all satellites are powered on. Apply. Orbi is not. Let's personalize your network settings. Okay. And then you just create the Wi-Fi network. Use same password for admin and login. So you can just change these names around. So I'm just going to quickly change. Actually, I'll keep it as Orbi. Make the password a bit easier. And I'm just going to quickly do this one. So you just go through some security questions. Uh, it just says where where were you born and your mother born, so you just do that, or you could choose whatever questions. So it's applying configuration. Wait while we update your Orbi settings. So it's found both the Orbis, uh, the satellites, which is good, because obviously you've got the main router there. So whilst that's uh, loading, what I'm going to do is just place that one there. So at least this one will be next to the wall there, and hopefully we should be able to get a. Good signal in the house, I'm really hoping. So I'm going to do some speed test as well, to show you guys how it is. So it just says wait while we update your Orbi settings. So I'm just going to wait for that and uh, come back once that's changed. So now you've got searching for Orbi 40. So it says wait about a minute while we make sure that your mobile device is connected to Orbi. 
So it's just can kind of just check in there, okay. So there you go, OB network detected. There you go, so now setup is complete, congratulations, OB is now ready to use. Finish. So it's just loading up some. So I'm really hoping this actually works really nicely because um, I've got the Cat6 Ethernet cable as well. Uh, so there you go, so internet is showing offline for some reason. So I'll quickly check why that's that. So if I go back, Wi-Fi. Unless I need to connect again. So you will need to enter the new password because obviously you've changed it. So it's, um, it's prompted me to change the password. So I'm just going to quickly enter the... So as you can see, it's showing that it's now connected. Um, but the light's turned off for some reason. So I'm not sure if that's meant to happen. But I'm just going to quickly go back to here. And... Uh, it's saying here the internet is offline, not exactly sure why. So if I go to Wi-Fi setting, share Wi-Fi, so it's got all this. So I'm just going to quickly check. So it's just ch uh, just changed to online. It says satellites to, it says update, so I'll just quickly do that. F so current firmware, new version. So I'll just update it. Do not unplug or power off your OB during this update, rebooting. So that's probably why, so there we go. So it's going to take about three minutes to update and I'll quickly come back once that's done. So the update was successful, the OB is successfully updated, so searching for OB again, so wait about one or two minutes while it's connecting again, so hopefully this should be the last and hopefully it just connects perfectly. So I've just come to the second house just to test out the speeds. So this is the speeds that I'm getting downstairs, so there's the satellite and literally opposite this place that's where the first one is with the router and I have got 58.1 megabytes per second 21 for upload which is quite good and now we're gonna go upstairs and check that side out so we've just come to the top one now and we're gonna start another speed test and see what we get hopefully so we've got 17 whoa holy moly that's a big difference upstairs that's pretty cool so we somehow got 369 megabytes per second upstairs and 21.1 and I'm just gonna quickly check what Wi-Fi I'm on I am on Orbi that's actually quite amazing actually was not expecting that at all uh, so we're upstairs Somehow I've managed to get 369. So I'm just going to go back downstairs and check it out. But I'm going to quickly go to this room. And obviously it's a bit messy right now. We're taking everything off. I'm just going to pretend if I was in my room. Check out what kind of speed I get. So, so let's see. So it's on 18. Okay. 381. I gotta say this Orbi is actually really good. I was really surprised because um, I was telling myself I'll probably be getting about 200 or probably less than that. But I'm actually getting 381 somehow. Which is really good. So there you go, that's 20 megabytes upload. So I'm gonna quickly go downstairs and check that one out again and see what happens. So I'm gonna try testing this one again, see what happens. Hopefully it's fast downstairs, because that was really amazing. Okay, we've got the speed as well here. So there you go guys, so this is proof that if you have a really big house, or even if you have two houses, which is literally next door to each other, and you need internet, this is the option. Instead of buying two broadbands, you need to buy one broadband, and that will do the trick. So there you go, we got 384 and 21.2 megabytes per second. So this room is actually okay then for this house. So I'm going to try to go in a different location and see what I get. So if I go to the kitchen, for example, normally kitchen is the worst place. So if I check out what we get on the kitchen, and you see, so we've got 18 things and we are getting 
a bit lower on download speed so we're now on 20 so kitchen I don't know why kitchen is always the worst place uh, so we've got 39.8 there oh don't know why Siri just got activated and then we got 20 megabytes of upload what I'll do is test it one more time and just check it out because obviously last time we in that room it wasn't as much and suddenly it just improved a lot so if I just try one more time to see what we get so we got 18 ping yeah so kitchen wise it's a bit worse well, not really that bad in fairness still 60 megabytes per second so uh, yeah so if you guys are thinking of getting one one orbi then you know I actually would recommend it I was not expecting it to be getting that much speed in fairness so we were quite glad actually because obviously the house is literally just opposite this place and the fact that we are getting you know over 300 megabytes per second that is just amazing um, yeah I'll link this exact one that I've got in the lips in the description box below so if you've got a big house you can use that one I'll link all that in the, uh, in the link below for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.